Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, we'll be trying to determine the initial and final values as well as a time constant and pole position of a typical transfer function equation. A typical function transfer equation takes the form of the very last one. In other words, it's the y which is the output which equals the input value or in this case, the step input. And as you see, it's a combination of various variables. Now, I would like to take you guys back to an earlier slide which is this one. And this defines pretty much the whole process. We have here that a first order system may be described by a differential equation, where tau is the time constant times dy over dt, which is the first derivative of y respect to time, plus y equals a function of um, x, where k is the steady state gain. Okay, so yes, as you see, taking the Laplace transform over here, we can see that dy over dt becomes sy. So th there's, a sp there's a particular rule for any derivative for example, if we found d2y over dt squared, s would be s squared. So it's quite a simple transform, transform here. For kx, for every other variable, we just put a cap log to signify it's been transformed, at least in my example. Now, all we're trying to do here is factor out the y and, of course, make y the subject. And dividing x across will give us the unique transfer function equation, which is a ratio of y to x. Okay, so bottom line is we need to know, we need to keep this value. So k in this case would be the steady state gain and tau would represent the, um, the time constant. Okay, so let's go back to our problem in particular. So what do we want to do? So we've got a step input here. So let's call this side um, x to y, okay? And in order to find the initial final values, let's rewrite this entire equation into the transfer function format. That is, we're going to have y equals... Um, x times this this um, quantity here 10 over s plus 10 now on the next slide over here this is this tells you pretty much how to cover the first two problems at least the first problem and this is the initial value theorem and the final value theorem so what do we have here it tells us that the limit of the um, of the original differential equation set to zero would equal the limit if it's the Laplace version where s is set to infinity, so we've got s times output function. So let's have a look. So, really, in this case, we're going to take the limit of this one from s to infinity, where x is going to represent the step input 2 over s. So, let's have a look. So, the initial value theorem is going to be the limit as s tends to infinity of s times, and we've got this x, which is 2 over s times the. Um, the transfer function, so we've got 10 over s plus 10. And just collecting, just tidying this up, this is basically the limit as s tends to infinity. So let's have a look here. <clears throat> let's see if we can cancel anything down. The s's here will cancel down, so we've got s will cancel over s here. And then we're left with just 2 times 10, which is 20 over s plus 10. So that's going to be the limit as s goes to infinity of 20 over s plus 10. That's it, guys. And all you need to know is that when you take, when you set s to infinity, when, when you're dividing infinity, one over infinity, it's pretty much approaching zero. So it'll be twenty times zero, which is literally just zero. So the initial value is zero. Now, how about the final value? So this tells us that we need to take the limit as s approaches zero for the same function. So same equation, but s approaches zero. So I want to copy out this part and set it to zero. Yeah. So the limit. As s approaches 0 of the same function, 20 over s plus 10. Okay, so literally you just want to plug in 0 for s. So we're just left with 20 over 10, which is the same as 2. And I say we pretty much found um, our, our final value. And now to really understand what this means, the question tells us in one part that we need to sketch the response. And indicating clearly the initial value, the steady state value, and the 2% selling time. Well... This is the response time, time response. The 2% uh, selling time is actually equivalent to 4 pi, so we need to calculate pi, which is easy. This is the final value, so which is going to be equal to 2. This is the initial value, which is 0, which is correct. Now, let's go back to the question. So this is how the curve would actually, is expected to look like. It's supposed to be an exponential curve. So this is the kind of diagram we're looking for. Okay, now we need to determine the time constant pole position. So, what is the time constant? So let's look back at our, our transfer equation. We've got 10 over s plus 10. So if we go, if we refer back to um, our theoretical aspects of it, we can see down here, so let's have a look, k over 1 plus tau s 
is equivalent to this quantity here. Tau represents the time constant and in particular the time constant can be reformatted in this form. Currently our equation looks like this. Remember we got 10 over s plus 10. So if we look carefully we can see that if we take the bottom half 1 over tau clearly equals 10 here. So you can say clearly 10 must be 1 over tau. So taking the reciprocals we should get that tau is simply 0.1. Yeah, and that's it. That's the time constant variable. Now, as for the pole position, well, this is just um, an equation of the denominator by setting it to 0 and finding the value of s. So to do that, because we've got s plus 10, we can just set that to 0 and solve. And the pole position will therefore tell us that the limit is at minus 10. And that's it, guys. I mean, I hope this video helped. And um, oh, yeah, sure, I'm not done yet. Sorry. As for the time response, um, we didn't set the settlement time. Because the settlement time is 4 pi and we know that pi was 0 0.1, we can clearly say that therefore the settlement time, settlement time is going to be 0 0.4. And voila, that's it. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions and um, you know, I'll be defining other stuff more principally, but this is more a case of doing a worked example and seeing how it goes. So yeah, um, please, you know, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, share this with your friends and I'll be doing more problems. So yeah, I'll, other than that, I'll catch you guys down the road. Ciao.